Today's adventure begins by looking at the Mickey Power Pole, I-4 westbound. As a recording of this Saturday, March 12, 2022, it is very gusty out there. Got the window down. A little inclement weather is happening here in Central Florida. And I have procured, surprisingly, when I woke up this morning, there are reservations available for Magic Kingdom. So maybe the wait times will be short. Maybe no one will be in the park. It's going to be quite an experience. Yeah, it is, it is windy up here. So what normally would be busy weekend crowds might be a little light. You know, it's because of the storm warning. It's also 10 a.m. at the moment. Going under the archway to MK. Also should mention, this is my third visit inside the Disney theme park so far in 2022. I'm stating that just to keep myself accountable and also to find a healthy balance you know, just in the content and just doing other things. So this is my third visit so far in 22. Look at that dark sky at 10.04 a.m. But there are people pulling in here. It's not really deterring people in droves. Then again, it's supposed to get a little worse as the more, oh, there was some lightning. There was a little bit of lightning. This is looking at the weather there. You can see it's 75 degrees. And for the next few hours, that's what, it, oh, it is lightning. A lot of lightning out there. It'll be all right, Big the Foot. Oh, you're used to this though, trouncing around in the woods. Well, lately you've been kind of here, here in my car, but back in the olden days, you're used to this inclement weather, right? Uh, just in the last minute or so, going through and showing my AP to go to parking, it has really started coming down. Okay, now it's not. And now it is again. I went under that underpass. Oh! Lightning City. Gotta wonder if the trams are gonna be running. There's a few of them parked over here. I doubt the tram will be running in this. I'm gonna find out soon. Oh, there's a line of cars backed up over there. I can see it from here. Okay, it appears as if the trams are in fact running in this. Take a look. Well, it's hard to take a look now. My window's rainy. This could end up being anticlimactic or this could end up being quite an experience depending on how the next few hours go. Tram moving by. Doesn't look like too many folks are on it. They just dropped some others off on the other side. Could be stopping up here. Taking the tram, would that be wise or walking? All right, feet, prepare to be soaked today. Can I make this tram in time? Can I make this tram? My feet are already wet. Gonna be a little bit of flooding. That's fine. All part of the experience. All part of the experience, Russ. Can I get on this? Can I get on this right now? Can I get on? I can't hear what she's saying. Welcome aboard, welcome aboard. Anyone trying to get Ooh. the tram? This is where you would get the tram. Holy cow. What the heck am I doing? I just sat in a puddle of water. Why am I doing this? Yeah, why not? It's an experience. I'm always looking for new opportunities to show different things. Instead of the- For those of you boarding the tram, this is where you would board, right here, folks. We are boarding right here, folks. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. I don't see Welcome anyone. Welcome aboard, folks. We are boarding right here. I don't know who she's talking. Oh, she's talking to the people down here with the poncho. I might have to buy a poncho. Please Holy watch your head and cow. steps. Watch your head and your steps, guys. Watch okay, where should I go? Over here? Oh, goodness. I'm already drenched. Everyone has ponchos but me. I can just get to a store, I can get a poncho. Look at this gentleman over here, he's like really bundled up. He's like crouched, crouched down. Driver hold. We're no longer boarding, no more boarding, no more boarding, no more boarding. There's another tram right behind us, guys, sorry. No, no, please pass the poles. Please pass the poles, thank you. Driver, clear for dispatch. This is something else. 
How's it going? I'll see you up there for TTC. All right. <laughs> Already memorable. I'm glad the trams are back. everyone, Adam the Woo here. My Tukus is officially drenched as the monorail goes by. I know a lot of people are heading over to take my favorite transportation viewable from the road, but I think I'm gonna go take the ferry boat across. Why not just get a little more moist out here? I'm inviting you to join me as I experience this rainy thunderstorm, possibly a tornado warning day here in Central Florida. Shall you? A poncho is probably gonna be on my to-do list. I'm the only one without a poncho. Let's see if I can make it on the ferry boat over here. See the castle off in the distance? The thing of beauty. <laughs> you can see it through the haze of the rain. There's a lot of people over here taking shelter as well. I'm gonna take shelter on the ferry boat. Oh, please let me get on here. I don't wanna wait for the, oh, this, it's windy. Oh, I was the last one to walk over this little, kind of like this gangway before they closed the gate behind me. The Admiral Joe Fowler awaits. Right. Pulling away from the platform. Notice how no one's standing next to the edge there because look at the, look at this water just pouring down from the side. Oh, step away, step away from the stream. <laughs> oh, I'm entertained by the small things. Hey, I might have to stand corrected. It doesn't appear as if this has dampered anyone showing up. People are here. Oh yeah, another monorail going by. I feel like if I got a guide map, it would get would get a little too too damp. A lot of people are kind of under under the train station here, a little archway in, just so stay out of the elevator. But it, right now it seems to be a little bit of a lull, and it's not raining at this moment. But there's another one coming through. Starbucks is really busy, so I think I'm gonna see if I can find a Joffrey's to get myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Ah, look at the castle, beautiful. All right, I guess for a Saturday at 11 a.m. at the moment, it, uh, this little walkway isn't so busy. But there is another storm gonna be rolling in in a few minutes. This will be a 100% chance of rain the next couple hours. And there are some closures. I'll show the app and show the wait times. Looks like there are some ride closures right now. Mostly over in the little circus area. And then, Big Thunder's down. Oh yeah, Big Thunder is down. Splash is down. The ferry boat is down, the Liberty Bell. Dang, I wanted to go on the, the ferry boat, but I guess that's not gonna happen. I guess I can walk over there and see. All right, yeah, so now that that crowd has kind of dissipated getting off of the boat, transportation device, it definitely, you can tell, this isn't too busy for a weekend day. I'm, okay, it's starting to rain again. Put my umbrella back up. And looks like over here at Tomorrowland Speedway, I almost called it Autopia. Autopia East, if you will. Cast members are called under the, all kind of tucked away out of here, out of the elements. The race cars are not going, obviously, because the track is a little too slick, and being out in the elements when you're in these cars doesn't really make sense. However, Joffrey's, no line for Joffrey's. Only a couple, usually this is like a good 15, 20 minute wait, 20 people deep. Only a couple people in line for Joffrey, so coffee time. Now looking at it from this angle, there are quite a few people with ponchos in line for Space Mountain. Yeah, still, pe still people brave in the elements. Got myself a hazelnut latte with the 50th emblem on there. Race cars still are not working. And it appears as if the Seven Dwarfs my Mine Train is also not quite operational. But a lot of people in line for the teacups, probably because so much is closed that everyone just heads over to attractions that are open. I would imagine when the ride track is a little bit wet, it probably is, it's probably not the safest thing to have a ride vehicle going across here. That's why it's closed until they realize no more rain will be rolling in. And even these little snack stands are closed at the moment. Snacks, 
snacks, but Dumbo, one of the two Dumbos here, is working. Look, no water in the splash pad for obvious reasons, and also Barnstormer is down currently. Cast members stand in front of Barnstormer. So Goofy, great Goofini, He's just taking a little bit of a rain delay. And I, for one, cannot wait for the train to come back here. Once Tron is completed, you can see they're really making a lot of headway on Tron. And I'm still kind of on the fence if I should get a poncho or not. I haven't decided. Looks as if, oh, look, they, okay, check it out. They have now brought the mine train back. Some lucky guests were able to get on board and probably got a short wait time. Check it out right there. I do have to wonder how long this is gonna last though, because the rain is, is rolling back in. Not sure if I'll be riding anything or not, but if something's short enough, maybe I'll pop on, but I'm just kind of here to wander around. One of the nice things about being an annual pass holder, if the reservations open up, I was really surprised to get a reservation on a Saturday. One popped up, I got it this morning. There was one available, I said, heck it. I'm going to Magic Kingdom, so I am. Uh, the more I think about it, if I could get a best remove them in today, then that would be very, very nice. Yeah, a lot of, it's a sea of ponchos through here. There's a lot more people here than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be pretty, lackluster as far as attendance with this rain, but it people have proved me wrong. Everyone's out of it. Oh goodness, it looks like the ferry boat is back on track and plenty of people have lined up for the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, the Liberty Bell seems to be about ready to take. I'll see if I can get on the next Liberty Bell cruise. Ah, I love that sound. Oh, now this is interesting. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I was just noticing this huge long line. Oh, oh. <laughs> This is the lightning light line, huh? Still haven't done lightning light. Thank you. Yeah. One of these days I'll do lightning light, but goodness gracious, this is the fast pass line. What the heck? Oh, Big Thunder's running. Big Thunder's running over there. Big Thunder, I'm on my way. Dang. I, would, I wish I would've got on that Liberty Bell cruise. There's like no one. Maybe they're just, you know what? Maybe it's just cast members on there. Maybe they're just testing it out. No, there's a guest on there. Yeah, I could've got on the first cruise of the day in between the rainstorms. There is no one on the Liberty Bell. Ah, not the Mark Twain here. Mark Twain's in Anaheim. Liberty Bell here at WDW. Oh, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a puddle right here over here. <laughs> through this little bit, a little bit flooded through this section. And it looks as if at the moment, now it could it could be down for a refurb. I'm not sure when they're gonna be doing that complete refurb, but at the moment, Splash Mountain is down and dry. There are none of the logs going. But then walking around over towards Big Thunder, notice there's some cast members standing here, which kind of gives me the impression that Big Thunder's just down because of the storm and not because of the refurb yet. Rainy day cavalcade in full effect. Now there is a brand new parade that just came back last week, give or take, within the last few days, there's a new parade that has kind of reared its head again. Today is not the day to witness that, however. They are doing the rainy day cavalcade, which is the exception when there is inclement weather, they do that. But I gotta say, there's a lot, there's a big cast of characters rolling through Frontierland, turning towards the hub, and then gonna be going around towards Main Street USA. A lot more than I was expecting it for for basically what would be the replacement for a parade, it's a cavalcade, but this is there's a lot of characters at, in the rainy day cavalcade. Pretty good, pretty neat. Also, if you're wondering what that noise is, I'm here, standing here on the back of the riverboat, and this is the, the water wheel from the riverboat, looking over there at the line of the haunted mansion. Yeah, let's take the riverboat. Always good to go around the rivers of America. I'm just standing here overlooking Frontierland and realizing back in October, that I had really made the statement in my own mind and vocally that I was really gonna taper back considerably on doing theme park Disney content. And I have, and I thought I wasn't gonna do any in 2022, but I am here to say that I miss the magic. And taking and taking that long road trip really kind of made me reevaluate and try to find a balance. And I feel like I'm finding a balance here with the parks. It's not gonna be a constant thing, but every once in a while, if I feel like, if I feel like coming out, I'm going to. Who am I to deny myself, you know, enjoying the parks as an annual pass holder? But you, ha you have my word, you have a promise that I'm not gonna overdo it. But every, but every once in a while. But that's my statement on it. I miss the parks and sometimes I just wanna go to the parks. And because I do a lot of daily videos, I film my day. I feel like 2022, as far as a balance here on this channel and in my life, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. But then again, I'm just speaking for myself, so I don't know what, what everyone else out there is thinking, but I feel I, I feel like I'm, this is a good year for me so far. I'm pretty happy and content. The most content I've been in a long time as far as creating, creating stuff, 
living my life. Looks like nobody can get over to Tom Sawyer's Island right now. Splash is still down also. Also, baseball season is back. The lockout is over, so I have a lot of away, Ray, away games across the country coming up very soon. So, you know, gotta get some park visits in as a local. All right, now the wind is really starting to pick up again. Look at the steam kind of going off there at a quick pace over into Frontierland. Remember when they announced they were gonna overlay and completely redo Splash Mountain? Is that ever going to happen? Is that ever gonna happen? Is that ever gonna become Princess and the Frog? It's been like two years since they announced that. No rafts going over to Time Sawyer Island. Confirmed it is just parked here. And look at the congregation of ponchos over there in front of Best Remove them at the moment. I will not be going back. That's probably like an hour wait because so much other stuff is closed. Everyone's heading over to Big Thunder, as they should. It's a good, look at, look at how many people are just kind of crammed over there. It's like a poncho fest. Oh, up close and personal with the poncho extravaganza. I never even really get a poncho. This umbrella is just suiting me just fine. Unless it starts, let's just start pouring. Now I was either oblivious before or so focused on the attraction on the other side of the boat, but I never noticed the smoking cabin over here till now. I'm always looking across the way at Big Thunder. They have a smoking cabin here too, just like they do at Disneyland. And take a look at the old fisherman over here on his dock. You can see that fish is jumping out of the rivers of America, right there next to the dock. Look closely. See the fish? There it goes. Hopefully that's not a piranha. Now these spitting tiki's over here in Adventureland, I have a photo from 1991 of me standing in front of these tiki, these spitting tiki's all the way back, you know, I was probably, what, 17 years old in 91, I was born in 74. But yeah, my mom and I were out here visiting, my grandma was in town, and I got a photo right here in front of the, I have a lot of memories here at Magic Kingdom, a lot of nostalgia as I'm walking around. I'm always reminded of certain events when I'm kind of just cruising around the park here. And there is the photo right there, my mama and I, back in 1991. Looks like the same tiki's and everything. They've been repainted, but, but that's them. And it appears as if the sun is attempting to pop out. I just walked past the castle, and as I was walking by, I'm also noticing that they have started to bring back some of the castle entertainment with all the characters in front of the castle. I've never seen that before. You know, for a long time they weren't doing a lot of stuff in front of the castle. But Castle Entertainment appears to be back. And it also appears as if the rain has stopped completely for now. And people are starting to make their way back in. Pachos are being removed. The crowd levels are starting to grow again. And I have a lot of bubbles heading my way. I guess someone made a wish here in the wishing well that it would stop precipitating from the heavens. This wishing well is considerably different than Snow White's wishing well at Anaheim. This is the Cinderella wishing well on this side of the castle. It's kind of tucked away over here, way over here. And at this moment, I believe, just getting the one attraction in, taking the riverboat around was good enough. I'm gonna start heading down Main Street. You can see everyone is now heading in as they realize the storm has passed, except it is very, very windy. You see the balloons here on Main Street, the balloons are kind of whipping around very, very quick like. I think from here, I'm gonna walk over the Contemporary. Before doing that, I'm gonna go over to the Emporium and see if there's any new merchandise. I can't live without. Now those look like very comfortable pants with the 50th emblem on there. And this is something I haven't seen, this coat. Now it is 64 degrees today. You'd probably get away with wearing this, but normally in Florida it's not that cool. And a little emblem there with Mickey on the front celebrating 50 years of Walt Disney World. This is a year and a half long celebration that they're doing here. Even create your own Mickey cookie down there and some popcorn for the 50th as well. Quite an assortment. Yeah, this would be pretty good. I've been eating pretty pretty well. In fact, I'm not having any treats today here on property. I'm not about the treats right now. Doing some good, pretty good on the weight loss, but that looks pretty pretty tasty. Oh, I kind of like these socks down here. 50 of socks as well. Got this little backpack here, a little book bag. If you call, oh, Figment is on there. Figment also celebrating the, the 50th. And this, they had this on opening day on October 1st of last year, was the start of the 50th. I haven't bought this yet, but I think I, at some point I'm going to get this. I have a lot of Mickey shirts. This one, I, when I get down to the, the weight I want to be at, I'll probably buy a few new shirts as a celebration. Here's the partner statue here. Oh, I like this orange bird shirt. Wow, that's pretty dang cool. What's the price on that? Ooh, $125. That is pretty awesome, though. Here's a 50th one here, too. This was also $115, pretty standard for the collared shirts. I think of all of them, I like this one. 
I like that. There's also a very dapper Mickey long sleeve sweatshirt right there too. Now this would be pretty awesome to have as like a rain jacket. You could have the poncho, but look at this. I like this. And here's another one I really like. Relax and recharge with Mickey there. Just kind of like, almost like he's resting out in a field under a tree, enjoying, enjoying the day. And this says, let the good times roll. And I must say, I'm not really much of a sweatshirt kind of guy. And I wear, you know, I wear a hoodie when I'm on the road and it's freezing cold, but in Florida, I don't know how often I would use this, but these are, I like this design, this kind of like aqua color. Over here in the Main Street Theater, some great retro merch, part of the retro collection. Look at this one over here with the contemporary and the castle and everything. Look at this game right here. Look at this, this is awesome. You could walk through Magic Kingdom right there. A visit to Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom Park. I decided to do the walk around Seven Seas instead of taking the the ferry or the monorail back and oh my gosh it has gotten very windy but i am loving this weather high of 67 today doesn't get much better than that when you get a high of the 60s in florida you have to embrace it quite a blustery day it's not raining at least but it is very very blustery i'm just waiting for a monorail to go by looks like gonna get one here through the clearing and this is the little ravine where they bring out the floats for the water pageant at the end of the night goes the monorail I doing this walk get your some cardio in get some steps in very beautiful as this transportation wonder goes by taking more guests into Magic Kingdom on the descent oh yeah I gotta get the long approach here Good angle as a monorail just kind of circles across the monorail beam. Very nice. Going by. And going the reverse way. Another one. Love it. I always love doing this walk. Now until about a year and a half ago, you couldn't go, you couldn't walk down this. This was not an active walkway, so I'm glad they, they changed that. See the castle over there in the distance on the far end of the screen. See the castle even from way back here. A lot less precipitation here at the tram turnaround than when I was over here earlier this morning. Still cloudy and overcast, but not downpouring. I believe I'm gonna end this episode here at Heavy Metal Mickey, because he's a Mickey made out of probably aluminum, but some sort of metal, so. It's a clever thing. Heavy Metal Mickey. My next road trip probably will not be till after the opening day of baseball, which I think is April 8th for the race. April 7th, April 8th, don't quote me on that, but soon after that, a day or two after that, I'll probably hit another road trip in the same length Mickey's acquiring. That's why I'm telling Mickey right now, talking directly into Heavy Metal Mickey. And I'll probably be gone for at least the same time period. I was, the last trip was seven weeks, so I think it's a good balance. And it gets me excited. Actually, going back in the parks recently, a couple times, my third visit this year, I'm starting to kind of get the magic back. I overdid it for a long time. And I'm not going cold turkey, but I'm also not going to overdo it anymore. But I am going to pepper it in from time to time. The tram taking people back to their cars. All right. I'm just going to walk it. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. It's over. Oh no, it's not over. Well, it's over, but this is just this is bonus, bonus footage. The 50th anniversary monorail. Oh, there's also a heavy metal Mickey on that side. Never realized that. Very gusty. It's a blustery day, Winnie the Pooh would say. 
there is a seagull nowhere near the sea. Go home, seagull. Oh, you're just kind of fluttering around TTC parking lot. Use the breeze, seagull. Use the breeze. <laughs> this is what I call a, a peaceful ending to a video. Post bonus footage.